I killed a man last night, and tonight I'm going to kill another man. These were the first words spoken at a talk I went to, given by the most prominent and successful solicitor advocate in Melbourne at the time. The point I'm making is that he got everybody's attention. And it is important, if you are appearing as a solicitor advocate in the magistrate's court to get the attention of the court if you can. So my name is Tom Moore. Uh, I've been a solicitor for many years. I've had uh, a lot of practice in the magistrate's court. And uh, what I say today in this video, I will try to um, refer to cases that I have, where I have represented clients and try and make the point that way. So just basically the points I would like to cover or touch on are uh, the importance of having a knowledge of the uh, political uh, legal, uh, legal system. Um, you wouldn't think in the magistrate's court that uh, this would be as significant, and it's probably not as significant as in the superior courts where the laws are changed and uh, you know, heavy, weighty constitutional and uh, legal matters are discussed. But I had a case where... Um, it uh, resulted in a, a client of mine not being convicted. I'll talk about that uh, shortly. Um, I'll also talk about differences in approach to a um, defence uh, matter, dealing with your client in a defence matter and in a plea, and the importance of making um, an assessment, which we all do, of, of our client. Next, uh, I will talk a little bit more about um, attention to detail in cases, particularly cases involving traffic matters, but all, all cases. Um, another thing I'll mention in the general introduction is the um, uh, medical defence. Uh, in in uh, criminal matters, uh, there may be an opportunity for a medical defence, and, I'll, and I'll, uh, I'll talk about a case that I was involved in where we avoided a conviction uh, on, the, on the basis of medical evidence.